Hello everyone! Okay, <laughs> what was that intro? I don't know, but you should leave a like. The reason being is because I, in this video, I'm going to fight a Burkhol clone. Very nice, right there on like, the left hand of the screen. I completely missed him. I didn't notice him, which I thought was, looking back, kind of funny. And that guy was waving to me. I didn't mean to ignore you. If you were, in fact, waving to me, I was doing something else. Didn't notice him until I started recording, looking back. Now it's at, like, right here, I'd say, like, right now. I noticed that there's something on the top left hand of the screen that looked like my Limit Breaker outfit. Hence why I quit the lobby and immediately went back into Conton City. Now, this guy's name is, like, Bo, or Ba, B-O-H, with messages, either like. Um, yeah, so I, I was thinking, what the hell is this? Is this uh, someone, like, I, I was hoping they would have, like, just called Burkle, that'll be amazing, but it's not. Now, I think this guy does know who I, I guess, like, who I am, maybe. Well, let's be fair, like, he's pretty obvious, like, he's, you know, just copied my new break way outfit, which is all good. Now, I went to try and challenge him, and I think I do or something, now, right here, I got for, like, the, uh, Seeking Opponent emote. You can see it's, like, all sped up, just so I'm not wasting too much time here, because, again, in a moment, we will fight, like, within, like, a few seconds. Now, I do try to challenge him there, but it says that you can only challenge people that are your level or higher, and given I'm level 99 and he's level, I think it's like 92, I couldn't challenge him, so I made a private play match lobby, uh, 15 minutes, items turned off, and invited him, and here we go. So I believe this is actually going to be what my, I guess like my personal Ultra Instinct Old Man, or the Unmastered Ultra Instinct, um, like this is what my moveset will be, so I've got Potential Unleashed, but on this moveset, Potential Unleashed, um, instant Rose as my evasive, um, two ultimates, a burning strike, and I think just this combination, if I remember, and for my four ultimates, I have the time skip backbreaker, rough dandelion, um, actually, I can't remember what my other two are, I think it's a, I think it's sledgehammer and cross arm dive, no, I think it's sledgehammer and super mag dance, as you just saw right there, okay, so yeah, I mean, look, within like a few minutes, I invited him and he joined, so yeah, he does know who I am, which is pretty cool, um, I just wish he called the character Burkle, that would be really dope if he did. So now break his guard. He's got the legendary Super Saiyan, I believe at least it was the legendary Super Saiyan Brody Super Soul. Now, this guy did send me a message after this. So, I'm, oh yeah, right there, that very nice poke block. As he goes back to the zero, I don't think I've done that since Xenoverse 1. I can't remember, so that was dope, it really was. Um, yeah, he did send me a message. He wasn't anything nasty, like he's actually a, like um, a cool guy. So I don't know if I'm gonna put this in the with messages playlist. There, standard break, like uh, oh, sorry, light standard break didn't work. Now in a moment, I'm gonna go for something I've been practicing for a while now, which is gonna be really dark. So yeah, guys, like a few what was yeah, flash fist crushes or what's called. So right here, go for the back hit into the time skip backbreaker. The back hit to turn me around. Then the back, uh, so then the time skip backbreaker to of course you know hit him with it. So that was dope. Very nice there, I've been practicing that for a while. First time I've successfully got it off. I mean, in this fight right here, the very first fight, yeah, into the Rough Ranger, very nice there. In his dick, damn it, I feel bad. <laughs> Leave a like. Um, yeah, but in that first fight right there, I wasn't putting any punches because, like, at least for the first fight, I couldn't lose against a Burkhold clone, could I, lads? So this guy now, and this guy. <laughs> uh, so now he picked uh, Jiren, again, level 92. So thinking, okay, fair enough. Now, I will say this, I believe he only picks his CAC twice, so I've just had him uh, use it. I believe it will be the next one where he uses it, which will be in the um, uh, white and gold outfit. And, well, I call that my limit break outfit, because at the time, the term Ultra Instinct oh, man, wasn't a thing, and I named all oh, Ultra Instinct. I named my gold and silver build, my competitive future Super Saiyan build, after that, because I thought it was a cool name. So yeah, uh, very nice. There, perfect block. I've got the very well. I, actually, what bed I'm using now? Uh, I want to say I'm using the. Um, oh no, this is my. Uh, this is my competitive Super Saiyan Blue build, which is Super Saiyan Blue as my uh, transformation. Did you get it? Or could you guess? Uh, Mac Dash as my evasive. Uh, two ultimates, Mystic Flash and Justice Combo. Four supers. Uh, Spirit Stab. Um, cross Arm Dive and Sledgehammer. And I believe it's also. Ranger, very nice. There, goes for Perry Impact. I did actually mean to try and break his guard there, but completely failed. Leave a like, leave seven white flags. That's that's the what goal of seven. <laughs> there we go. Um, so yeah, again, these are play matches with limitations turned off. So here he could go for his reverse, 
But I don't think he would... Well, I just don't think right now he needed to, maybe. I mean, yes, if he went for his Rumi Burst, he... Actually, off the top of my head, I can't actually remember what the... Uh, well, I say preset one. There's only one preset of Jiren. Yeah, nice troll spin there. Leave a like. I can't actually remember what Jiren's Rumi Burst effect is. Uh, very interesting. Like, the Super Soul is... I believe Jiren's Super Soul is the... This heat will be your downfall. I want to say it gives you super armor. Question mark there. Cross arm dive. He moves out of the way. Very nice. That very nice all uh, Well, I guess all twins did purple up there. I didn't. Well, I wouldn't say I didn't mean to do it, but like, that's more so reflex than like predicting him to hit me. If that makes sense. There goes one of a parrot in back. Uh, purple lock it. Very nice. Super activates. Um, <laughs> Not be disrespectful. Uh, trust me, just saw it on there, guys. So well, yet another parry back now. Before this is actually the third fight we had. The first fight is what I of course shot, and in the second fight he picked a wall can hit. Now I did win that fight, so it's not as if I'm not showing it because I lost. But he was spamming the grab quite a bit. Um, so yeah, there's a bit of fortune, but we're gonna do. Who cares? So I'm now going into the third fight for the video, but technically the fourth battle I had against this guy. Now he picks his. Um, I want to say it's a spin on the one hit KO build because he's got Power Rush, the Brother Soup Soul, that doesn't really work with this build to be honest, but he's also got Meditation, so I'm thinking well you're not going to run Meditation and Power Rush and not try to use Power Rush at least once. Now granted if he went for a Power Rush right now I just don't think he'll be enough to defeat me because Plus, oh yeah, very nice Power Lock up there, what you guys for Savage Strike, this is my main competitive uh, Future Super Saiyan build. Future Super Saiyan, uh, Evasive is Mac Dash, Justice Congo, Mystic Flash, two Ultimates, four Suitors, After Image, I need to replace that with maybe the Times of Backbreaker or Rough Ranger, uh, Cross, no, not Cross on Dive, sorry, four Suitors, let me say that again, After Image, uh, Sledgehammer, Sonic Bomb, and Shining Slash. This is what I refer to as my Loot Breaker uh, build, like back in when I made it, like about 9, 10, 11 months ago, as of when this video goes up. But yeah, like, assuming that he has 10 bars of key, he's in Super Saiyan Blue, and then he goes for, uh, Power, uh, Power Rush, that's it, Power Rush, not Power Impact, Power Rush, and it hits me. Right now, I don't think it's going to defeat me, because if he does go for it, he would drop out of Super Saiyan Blue, because, yes, I do know Meditation can stop the drain of Super Saiyan Blue, and to some extent, actually, I can't remember exactly if he does recover key, if you're in Super Saiyan Blue, or at least it'll stop the drain temporarily. But given that Power Rush takes exactly 10 bars here to use, and those like, 4 mouth saying with meditation, you have only exactly 10 bars of key, you're gonna drop out of it as soon as you go over because you just don't have any more than 10 bars of key. I've mentioned that before, but I'm still getting comments on the um, yeah, right there. Okay, that's the super armor, so I hit it to make him vanish into a mystic flash. And that's game, very nice there. That's the reason why I run Mystic Flash. First time I've used it in this video, I think it's gonna be the only time I use it in this video um, against this guy so far. But it's just perfect, because if your opponent doesn't know that you're running it, or if they forget you're running it, and you use it once, it will win the game for you, as I just proved right there. But I was gonna say, the reason why I mentioned that Perilous thing with like 10 bars of gear and what have you, goddamn hurt feel. Is because I'm still getting comments on my, I believe it's on my one hit KO build uh, video. Check it out, lads. People saying, oh, if you use meditation, blah blah blah, you can actually use uh, KO Rush without it uh, dropping you out of Super Saiyan Blue. No, I've tested it, doesn't work, unfortunately. Uh, so, yeah, so going to the next fight now, we're like almost a minute in, like 40 seconds right now. In the lobby before we uh, started this fight right here, I said in the, I guess like the thick chat, what do I call it? Do you want to battle using original characters? Guys, can someone please tell me what a original character is? Thank you. Ugh, leave a like. Um, and it's, uh, actually, he didn't say yes or no, so I was just thinking, okay, maybe he's gonna pick it. So of course I picked Vegeta Blue, and he picks Custom Hercule. Of course he does. Now, I was kind of laughing like, when it's happening, because it's like, it's, it's Hercule, man. Like, <laughs> just look at it, just look. <laughs> I cannot honestly imagine, um, Vegeta Blue just trying to block. I hope if Super does come back, when he comes back rather, we see Vegeta again, like, it's just a badass character, favorite character in, you know, Dragon Ball, as I mentioned before. Followed by 17, um, and that was even before he won the Taunt of Power, spoilers. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, that's a good stab. If I had hit him then, as he went for the, uh, roll, what is it, the rolling Hercule punch? That would have been very cool. Now I do get that very disrespectful finished using Force Shield. Now, 
Again, we did. Well, I did message this guy. I can't remember if I said in the video or not. So, I, yeah, whatever. Um, but he did message me after the first fight, saying, "I think I, well, off the top of my head, I can't remember exactly what he said word for word." We said something like, "GG, you're good." So I'm not going to call this. Well, I don't think at least I'm going to call this a with messages video because the guy is like cool. Um, I did ask if he had a YouTube channel, and right now he doesn't, which is a bit of a shame. You know, blinking and stuff like that. We're going to the next fight now. This is going to be the final fight. Well, no, there's going to be two fights left, but the final proper fight, because I will use my 1DK build in the following fight, which will be the last fight for the video, and the last fight I had against this guy. So, you can see right here, Vegeta Blue versus Ultra Instinct Gold. He's very nice. At the time, I was thinking, oh, it's over already, because, you know, oh, yeah, there he goes for the, um, uh, sorry, the light star break into the God of Display. It's going to hit me full on. I can't get it right now. Yeah. <laughs> the um, Neutron Star Collision with Messi is very nice. Doesn't do that much damage, actually, I'm surprised. I'm just sure that would have done more damage. I mean, granted, he is level 92, but it's still a high end level. There, I lock off and go for the new first final Kamenha. I believe he went for his evaluative. He did a, actually, I can't remember how much um, help he had beforehand, but if he did it, well, if that final Kamenha with my new first did hit him full on, like the entire final Kamenha hit him, yeah, the final Kamenha. That would have definitely defeated him, but it didn't work, so that's a bit of a shame there. Go for the, I guess, actually no, that was like the, I think the exact, actually was it? Like the exact combo Vegito Blue used on merged Zomasu, it was episode 69, no 60 or 67 of Dragon Ball Super, before they defused into Goku and Vegeta. So here, the one hit KO build, I've got to use against the Burkhold Claw, I believe he picks Jiren, uh, so I'll pick the, the um, Glacier stage. I actually forgot how to use this build because I haven't used it since like a few videos after I recorded the Lucky Cow build. Just haven't, I've been using like Plant Krumbosh. Plant Krumbosh. Um, stuff like that. So I do charge up at the, the uh, very beginning, then into Fighting Pulse K, then Meditation. Yeah, so I think that, I mean, this guy knows what I'm doing, of course he does. They go to the grab. I will hit him with the Super Saiyan 3 um, Super Soul Power Rush in a moment when he like a, my, yeah, in a second. Oh uh, yeah, there, um, he, goes, he does go for a grab a few times, which I mean, you know what, for this build, that's fair enough, it really is. Uh, there goes some meditation, big mistake, light standard break into the power rush, and that is game. Okay, there, lads. Now what's funny is that I did see this guy in content, this, this was the final fight, and after this I went back into content city, because I was like, okay, I'm done now. Um, and I did see him there. I think he was in the exact same place, like doing something with the um, mentor, um, like NPC. Regardless, guys, thank you for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time.